The boxing world was rocked as highly touted lightweight contender Devin Haney faced off against pound-for-pound -pound King Terrence Crawford in a sparring session turned brawl. Witnesses report a heated exchange escalating into a full-fledged brawl, with Crawford's frustration boiling over, leading to a vicious left hook that sent Haney crashing. Chaos ensued as the gym turned into a battlefield. Haney was rushed to the hospital with serious injuries, including facial fractures. The incident raises concerns about the dangers of sparring and Crawford's control over his emotions. Bill Haney, Devin's father and mentor, has taken a bold step in pursuit of justice by filing a staggering $100 million lawsuit against Terrence Crawford. The lawsuit alleges that Crawford's actions were not only a blatant disregard for sportsmanship, but also resulted in severe physical harm to Devin. Bill Haney, known for his unwavering support, is standing firm against what he perceives as a vicious assault, jeopardizing Devin's well-being and future in the sport. Legal documents reveal that Bill Haney seeks compensation for medical expenses, loss of potential earnings, and damages to Devin's reputation. A lawsuit vividly paints the traumatic incident, describing the training session turned violent clash that landed Devin in the hospital with serious conditions. The boxing world was jolted by a seismic shock yesterday as highly touted lightweight contender Devin Haney found himself hospitalized after a sparring session with pound-for-pound -pound King Terence Crawford turned into an all-out war. This explosive incident unfolded at a private training facility in Las Vegas and escalated from a heated exchange to an unbridled brawl. Eyewitnesses painted a picture of an initially smooth sparring session where both fighters showcased their skills and exchanged blows with mutual respect. However, tensions soared as Crawford's frustration with Haney's defensive prowess reached a boiling point. Hammering hostility exploded into a full-blown brawl when, in a fit of rage, Crawford unleashed a savage left hook that caught Haney off guard, sending him crashing to the canvas and plunging the gym into chaos. Visibly consumed by rage, Crawford continued his onslaught on Haney, turning what was supposed to be a training session into a bitter rivalry. Trainers and security personnel intervened, but not before Haney lay unconscious, his face a gruesome canvas of blood, and his body mercilessly battered. Paramedics were urgently summoned to the scene, rushing Haney to the hospital where he currently resides in serious but stable condition, grappling with multiple facial fractures and internal injuries. A shocking incident has reverberated through the boxing world, sparking concerns about the perils of sparring sessions and the potential for grave injuries. Crawford, known for his fiery competitiveness, now faces a barrage of criticism for his actions with many questioning not just his skills in the ring, but also his judgment and control over his emotions. As the dust settles from this explosive clash between Devin Haney and Terence Crawford, a legal storm is brewing. Bill Haney, the father and mentor of the young boxing sensation, has declared war by filing an audacious $100 million lawsuit against Terence Crawford. This legal battle seeks justice for Devon, accusing Crawford of not only disregarding the principles of sportsmanship, but also inflicting severe physical harm. The legal battleground is ablaze, fueled by a father's determination to hold Crawford accountable for jeopardizing his son's well-being and future in the sport. The lawsuit vehemently accuses Terence Crawford of not only trampling on the principles of sportsmanship, but inflicting severe physical harm on Devin Haney, portraying his actions as a blatant disregard for decency. Bill Haney, 
recognized for his unwavering support for his son's career, is adopting an unyielding stance against what he perceives as a vicious assault, one that imperils Devon's well-being and future in the brutal world of boxing. Exposing Crawford's alleged transgressions, the legal documents lay bare Bill Haney's pursuit of justice. Seeking redress, Haney is pursuing compensation for a litany of grievances, including medical expenses, the potential earnings snatched away, and the tarnishing of Devon's hard-earned reputation as a professional athlete. The lawsuit paints a vivid and harrowing picture of the traumatic incident, vividly describing a training session that spiraled into a violent clash, resulting in Devin Haney's hospitalization under serious conditions. Boxing legend Floyd Mayweather has entered the narrative surrounding Devin Haney's sparring clash with Terence Crawford. Mayweather visited Haney in the hospital, and his comments have sent shockwaves through the boxing world. Mayweather conveyed that Devin Haney's condition is very serious, heightening concerns about the extent of the injuries sustained during the heated sparring session. The boxing icon reportedly expressed deep apprehension about the impact on Haney's career, suggesting that the young contender's future in the sport might be in significant jeopardy. As Haney battles with serious injuries, Mayweather's visit adds a layer of gravity to the already intense situation. The uncertainty surrounding Haney's recovery and potential career implications is now a focal point of discussions within the boxing community. In a surprising turn of events, boxing legend Floyd Mayweather paid a visit to the hospitalized Devin Haney, adding a new layer of drama to the already intense narrative surrounding the fallout from the altercation with Terence Crawford. Mayweather's presence at the hospital stirred speculation about his motives and sentiments towards the young contender. I was concerned about Devin's well-being and wanted to see him for myself. He's a young, talented fighter with a bright future, and I hope he recovers quickly. Reports suggest that Mayweather, a seasoned veteran known for his strategic and calculated approach both inside and outside the ring, took a keen interest in Devin Haney's condition. Allegedly, during the visit, a nurse purportedly conveyed to Mayweather that Devin might not be able to step into the ring again. This revelation has added fuel to the already fiery controversy, intensifying the stakes and implications of the incident. I don't condone what happened between Devin and Terrence, but I'm not here to point fingers or cast blame. My focus is on Devin's health and safety. The potential career-ending prognosis, if accurate, would be a significant blow to Devin Haney's aspirations and the boxing world at large, as he is widely regarded as one of the rising stars in the sport. Mayweather's involvement in this unfolding drama raises questions about his perspective on the severity of the situation and his relationship with both fighters involved. As the boxing community eagerly awaits official statements from Mayweather, Devin Haney, and Terence Crawford, the atmosphere surrounding this incident continues to be charged with uncertainty and speculation. Mayweather's visit to the hospital adds a layer of intrigue, suggesting that the aftermath of the sparring session extends beyond legal battles and financial claims, potentially altering the course of Haney's promising career. I know that Devin is a fighter, and he will overcome this setback. He will be back in the ring stronger than ever. Gervonta Davis, never one to shy away from stirring the pot, recently entered the fray surrounding the Devin Haney Terence Crawford incident with some pointed comments. Davis insinuated that what happened in the sparring session might be a form of karmic retribution, stating that the bad always comes back. The insinuation here is that Davis believes Haney has engaged in questionable practices within the boxing world. Davis specifically pointed fingers at Devin Haney's alleged use of performance-enhancing drugs, PEDs, serious accusation that can tarnish a boxer's reputation. In Davis's eyes, Terence Crawford stepping into the ring with Haney was, according to his comments, a form of justice or reckoning for what he perceives as Haney's transgressions. This provocative statement from Gervonta Davis adds an intriguing layer to the ongoing drama, bringing up issues beyond the physical altercation itself. Accusations of PED use carry significant weight in the world of professional sports, and Davis's comments suggest a belief that Crawford, in confronting Haney, was taking a stand against perceived wrongdoing in the boxing community. In the midst of the chaos following Devin Haney's sparring clash with Terence Crawford, another key player, Gervonta Davis, stepped into the ring of controversy. Davis had been vocal about his intention to face Haney, 
fueled by accusations of PED use and a desire to give him a lesson in the ring. The anticipated showdown between Davis and Haney was set for May, promising a clash of titans and an intense rivalry. However, with Haney now hospitalized due to the severe injuries from the Crawford incident, the eagerly awaited bout is forced to take a backseat. Postponement of the Davis vs. Haney matchup adds a layer of suspense to an already charged situation. Gervonta Davis, known for his no-nonsense approach, finds himself in a holding pattern, waiting for Haney's recovery and the rescheduling of their highly anticipated showdown. You know, at 135, he was essentially a weight bully, right? And a lot of the guys he, he fought were, were significantly smaller in the ring, all on fight night. Like, his last fight against Lomachenko, you could clearly tell the size difference. Also against Cambosis, yeah, he's always the bigger man in there. Stepping up to 140, going up against uh, Progress. Progress is a big dude. It's very difficult for him to push back a, a bigger man or a man who's the same size as him. A lot of the things that gave him success was the fact that he was bigger. In the competitive arena of professional boxing, where the clash of skill and the roar of the crowd command center stage, two rising stars, Gervonta Davis and Devin Haney, were poised to ignite a spectacle of epic proportions. Their highly anticipated bout, scheduled for May, promised to be a watershed moment in their respective careers, a defining moment that would etch their legacies in the annals of boxing history. However, fate intervened casting a shadow of uncertainty over the eagerly awaited showdown. Just days before the scheduled clash, Devin Haney found himself sidelined, hospitalized following a sparring session with Terence Crawford. The intended tune-up for the Davis fight turned into a brutal encounter that left Haney with serious injuries, forcing the postponement of the highly anticipated showdown. The boxing world was left collectively stunned by this unexpected turn of events. Anticipation that had been building for months, the buzz generated by the rivalry between Davis and Haney was abruptly replaced by a sense of disappointment and uncertainty. Vanta, Davis known for his unwavering self-confidence and unwavering determination, expressed his frustration in a no-holds-barred interview. I was ready to put Haney in his place, to expose him for the cheater he is, he asserted, his voice laced with anger. But now he's running away, hiding behind his injuries. He's a coward, and he knows he can't beat me fair and square. Haney, in contrast, remained defiant, refusing to cede the momentum gained from their escalating rivalry. I'll be back in the ring soon, he stated in a statement released by his camp. And when I do, I'll be ready to face Davis. I'm not afraid of him, and I'll prove to everyone that I'm the real champion. Haney's hospitalization and the severity of his injuries cast a shadow over his career trajectory raising questions about his ability to return to the ring and face the formidable Davis. Despite these setbacks, Haney remained steadfast in his determination to reclaim his place among the elite lightweights. I'm not going to let this setback define me, he declared in a recent interview. I'm going to fight my way back to the top, and when I do, I'll be ready to face Gervonta Davis. I'm not afraid of him, and I'll prove to everyone that I'm the real champion. Haney's unwavering confidence and resilience have inspired his fans and fueled the anticipation for his return to the ring. The boxing world eagerly awaits the day when he can step back into the ring, fully healed and ready to face Davis in a clash that promises to be nothing short of epic. The animosity between Haney and Davis has only intensified in the aftermath of the sparring session. Davis has continued to make disparaging remarks about Haney, accusing him of cowardice and questioning his ability to fight through injuries. Haney has responded with equal ferocity, dismissing Davis's claims and declaring that he will be the one to silence his critics when they finally meet in the ring. The rivalry between Hane and Davis has transcended mere competition. It has become a battle of wills, a clash of ego, and a testament to the unwavering determination of two young men striving to etch their names in the annals of boxing history. Thank you for watching this video. Goodbye, folks.